Today's video is going to be lighting my 20 gallon nano aquarium. What better way to start a lighting video with the sun behind me? Hey guys, what I'm going to start out showing you today is this is an Apogee PAR meter and I've attached it to the end of a, a rigid tubing and I've also used zip ties to hold it in place. It has a protective end cap that I'll take off and that way it protects the sensor which is on the top from any scratches or anything like that. When you put it in the water it's angled straight up so I'll show you how that's done, but first I want to show you the uh, USB cable. It's a USB connector on the end, and you connect it to your computer, and the interface shows up, and you can see it on the right there, it's showing 4.0, 2.2, 1.2. See, there's your uh, quantum sensor, and when I put that in the water, that will um, show up there on your computer. And that works really well. That comes along with it. Okay, if I can keep the wire out of the way, and I'll put it into the water, and now you'll see the reading. See the readings on the right? Two, 301, 363, see that's reading the PAR meter at the top of the aquarium, right where that top rock is. So that's 350, 340, 348, that's a high par, that's a decent par for SPS corals. Uh, it's changing like that because I'm shaking, so you can see how I'm moving it. Now if I go down a little bit further, you'll see it starts to go lower. There's 239, 229, 234, 240. That's also pretty decent for most SPS corals. A lot of it's trial and error, guys. Uh, now you're going to have to go down uh, further. This is more for your soft coral. Uh, some SPS will grow at this uh, depth, but very slow. See, 108, that's quite low uh, for SPS. But in a mixed reef tank, that's pretty much what you want. You want some high readings up on the top and uh, then some lower ones down in the bottom. See, I'm going to try this side now, and you can see right where those Acropora are. I'm 225, 219 in that area. Uh, they've been growing well for me the last month with that par, so I'm assuming that they're doing well in that spot. If I see them slow down uh, or any changes occur, then I could increase the lighting. So this is how you use a par meter. They aren't cheap. This was about $200 uh, for the meter. And I really only used it a couple times just to zero in on where what my lighting should be. Here's the AI Prime interface. When you buy it, it comes with instructions on how to connect it to your Wi-Fi. It's quite easy. Um, and once you hook it up to your Wi-Fi, uh, when you open it up on your smartphone or on your tablet or iPad, you'll see this. One is the cloud setting and one is for local so you can do it either way so if I choose local this is the dashboard so to speak and uh, you can put your own picture there as you can see I have a little man reefer there and um, when you select schedule uh, that will give you different your different settings uh, you have schedule all on all off uh, so if I go down to uh, the settings and hit control and uh, now you're gonna see the graph and all your lighting uh, options and each one of those bars down below represent the light in the AI Prime so you have UV you have violet you have deep blue blue green red and a cool white so you can use the sliders to make changes and they correspond with the graph up top as you can see. So you can use either or. If I put my finger up on that graph at a fixed point, I can drag those uh, also. But I find setting the numbers by the bars on the bottom 
Uh, my setting is 100% on all the blue light because I found the AI Prime isn't as strong in that area. So I set all my blues to 100%. All right, here I'm showing you um, what happens when you take your cool white way down. See how things fluoresce? That's basically when you see these really brightly colored zoanthids in different tanks online. That's basically all that they're doing there is they're setting their uh, blues really high and taking their whites really down. Obviously, you can't grow coral under this lighting, so it's more or less for show. Um, but I find that about a 60% setting on the cool white is right where you want to be. So then you can see how the photo period is set up. The peaks there where I'm pointing goes across and then comes down again at the end. So in the beginning, it's I, uh, lights ramp up at about 7 a.m. and they ramp up till about 11 a.m. There's a time uh, listing up there too. And both the Kessel and my lighting are full on, you know, the maximum power, what I feel, which is 60% white, 100% blues, and no green and no red. The blue and white are your most important. Oh, we lost the light there. Uh, most corals grow below three feet on the reef in the wild. Our aquariums, are the top of our live rock sometimes are six inches away from the top of the water. Uh, maybe go down to two feet in the bottom. So basically, um, it's very important that we use the blue light in our aquariums. I'm back out at the connecting section and I'll choose the cloud. So the cloud is identical to what your setting is local. So if I choose the controls, you'll see that it's the same setup. Um, so th what's good about that is wherever you are, if you have an internet connection, you can make changes to your aquarium lighting. So here's the lighting height that I choose to put over the reef tank. That's about eight to 10 inches. Uh, it's pushing it if I say 10. Uh, but I find that I get enough spread, and now that I've used the PAR meter, I know what my lighting is within the aquarium, and I can supplement on the left side using the Kessel A80 there. Here's the Kessel. It's the A80, and if you look on the top there, uh, there's just two settings there. You see one says color and one says intensity. The intensity setting there is about three quarters and the color is almost all the way up, which is blue. This is the tuna blue version of the Kessel. So it's predominantly blue light and within the intensity, that's where you might get some of the other spectral light. All right, guys, that does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, if you think I did or you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. New viewers, if you liked what you saw, subscribe and hit the bell and you can keep up on my videos. So like always, guys, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> what better way to get this? What better way to start a lighting video with the sun behind me?